in an age of social media and virtual connectedness, there's something exciting, even cathartic, about being with so many like-minded people. Every time we have a down day on the market, I think of the economy. Good point. <laughs> so you guys follow the stock market because of retirement funds? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. A lot of us are on fixed income. And so, you know, 0.25% really doesn't help you buy many groceries. Which are no nice. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and the cost of, cost of groceries are increasing. increasing. All right. The right. right. But, Good point. But the economy around here you know, we're, we're sort of isolated from things that are happening elsewhere in Kansas because of the university, mm -hmm. because of Fort Riley. Um, you know, we're, we don't even understand it sometimes how bad it is in other parts That's of the state. That's an excellent point. Do you think it would help the economy of this area to oh have racing goodness, in other places absolutely. of Kansas? Absolutely. There are, um, there's so much more to Greyhound racing than just that 34 seconds on the track. You know, if you, if you work your way backwards, there's families that make their living with the Greyhounds. There's uh, the people that work at the track. There's just any number of people that uh, were out in the cold when racing left Kansas. And most of them were, as I say, second or third generation you know, one of the things that really gave us a scare this year was um, the possibility that we may lose the RHID. That would be devastating for us. And I think a lot of communities have finally figured out how to implement that and help with the housing crisis that is all across this state. And what we've done is we've, create, we've got the things in place to create the jobs, but we have to have housing for those. Yeah.